County Republicans are accusing a Beaumont City Councilman of breaking an election law. They say Councilman Jamie Smith turned the city's Juneteenth celebration into a partisan event. 12 News HD anchor Angel San Juan joins us in studio to explain. For the past five years, Ward 4 Councilman Jamie Smith has spearheaded the Juneteenth celebration in Beaumont, which recognizes the date Texas slaves learned they were free. The event is sponsored by the city and partially funded by taxpayers, which is why what happened there this past Saturday has Jefferson County Republicans accusing Councilman Smith of wrongdoing. Tonight, he responds. The Beaumont City Council considers this year's Juneteenth celebration a success, but not everyone feels the same. I want to see justice done. Rick Williams is legal counsel to the local GOP. He told council members the city-sponsored event promoted Democratic candidates, and he says that's a Class A misdemeanor. Our citizens are just crying for their elected officials, uh, for honesty, integrity. And, uh, you know, we've got to get control of this place and got to get it straightened out. And these types of things just uh, come at the wrong time. Councilman Jamie Smith organized the Juneteenth event, and he says in an effort to help increase voter participation, candidates were introduced. But he says the DJ took it too far by endorsing some of them. The DJ called the list out, but he added some things to it. And... You know, once we caught it, it was brought to our attention, you know, it was stopped. But the councilman is not passing the buck. He's taking full responsibility. I'm embarrassed that it, you know, that they're trying to link it to, you know, the city. You know, I stand on my, what happened, happened. And there's nothing I could do to take that back. But there was no intent, you know, no malicious intent intended. And Mayor Becky Ames wants to make sure it doesn't happen again. City-sponsored events that if anyone is recognized from the podium that it be elected officials and not candidates. William says the Republican Party does not plan to pursue the issue but would like the district attorney to investigate. DA Corey Crenshaw would only tell us if his office receives a complaint, it will be handled like any other case. Well, on this list that the DJ read, were there only names of Democratic candidates? Or? Councilman Smith says the names on the list were elected or candidates who asked to be on that list, and he said he had only heard from Democrats up until the day of the event and he did say there was a Republican candidate he learned about at the event and that that person was added as well but he maintains that the only people on the list were those who asked to be on it and they were just to be recognized and their names called out. All right, we'll see if the DA receives a complaint on this then. Thank you, Angel. Both Smith and Williams are also candidates in the upcoming November election. Smith is running for district clerk and Williams for judge.